All right, Utah photographer David Schultz just returned from Antarctica. And while there, he got the rare experience of photographing emperor penguins. And Mary's over with David with more on his trip. And that's right. It's a thrill to have David back here with Channel 2. It was a couple years ago, we'll say like more uh, than a dozen <laughs> since <laughs> been a while. Yes. And this last trip, though, is quite an adventure for you, not only as a photographer, but a life experience, isn't it? It was. This was my fourth time down to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. This time we were specifically going in to photograph emperor penguins, which are a little bit more difficult to reach, requires a different type of ship and helicopters and such. So. Helicoptered you out so you could take photos for how long of a period before you would have to get back? We would be out for uh, 12 hours maybe, uh, so compared to other film crews, not necessarily that long, but mm -hmm. each day we would leave the ship in the uh, morning, fly into a base camp, mm -hmm. and then it was a couple of mile hike to the rookeries, and then we'd spend the, uh, the days in the different colonies. Well, the focus on survival, but then what about the art of, of photographing the, uh, this particular type of penguin? Uh, the, uh, the main interest is the chicks. They're incredible to see, the mm -hmm. personalities, and but just to be able to sit down in the middle of maybe a, a hundred thousand penguins and having them come right up to you sitting in your lap practically and uh, and trying to compose images when you've got that much chaos going on trying to find the the simple shots within that that's the difficult part and you're looking for different lighting and angles and things that you have to incorporate because honestly his his photographs are beautiful art even though you might be shooting the same thing that other people are shooting there there's a different way of looking at it there is uh, I've couple of trips I've had people say now I was right next to you when you took that mm -hmm. why does your image look like that and I think it's just years of training and editing tightly and coming up with that uh, one composition that just really includes the environment okay. as well as the activities. Well, I know people, if they have had the opportunity to be up in Main Street in Park City, your gallery is still there. It is. Westlight Images. We're on uh, Lower Main Street and there for nine years now. Okay, you can pop in and see more of <clears throat> your artwork and when will you have this whole exhibit ready to go? The uh, new images should start coming out in about uh, two weeks. Some are already in the gallery, some okay. smaller proofs, but All right. a couple of weeks. Great. Thank you so much for coming in this Thank morning. You. And we have a link set up on our website. Go to KUTV.com and uh, the link is set up to David Schultz so you can find out where to find his artwork. Great stuff, huh guys? Yeah, yes. very good stuff. Yeah.